coming off a dominant three-set sweep against Rutgers, the Maryland volleyball team looked to continue that same momentum as they took on the number eight ranked Purdue Boilermakers. They were unable to do so, losing three sets to one. The Terps came out slow in their match against Purdue, losing the first set 25 to 15. Purdue's Jael Johnson and Emma Ellis led the eighth ranked Boilermakers to a successful first set. Maryland rallied behind outside hitter Paola Nietzsche Peruca and middle blocker Hannah Thompson for a more competitive second set. The Terps battled all the way until the end of the second set, losing 25 to 23. Yeah, I thought we could have taken second. You know, I thought the stem, uh, you know, the tide had turned a little bit. We were giving ourselves a window. Um, you know, we, we have never seen it before. Did not have a player on the floor um, and lost a point. And we watched the ball fall late. So two critical mistakes against the top 10 team. You're just not going to be, uh, be good enough to do that. So. Um, I thought we did a lot better in the second. I thought we were blocking some more balls. I thought we served them a little bit more aggressively. And, um, you know, I thought it was a nice performance in the third to wash what happened in the second, use that momentum a little bit, and uh, kind of propel us to, to give us a chance to, you know, win that match. The Terps did indeed propel themselves forward, winning set three, 25 to 22. Maryland tallied 14 kills in the third set, five of which came from outside hitter Sam Sire. Sire is averaging 3.52 kills per set and recorded 17 total kills in today's match alone. The fourth and final set was a battle of hustle. Liberos, Kaylee Thomas, and Milan Gomillion combined for a total of nine digs in the set. The Terps led 23-18, but Purdue was able to storm a comeback with an aggressive attack and strong defense. Purdue won the final set 27-25. Yeah, I mean, anytime we play good competition like this, you know, Purdue's a great team. Anytime we get that, it's an opportunity for us to get better. You know, we say all the time in the locker room and practice and anything that we don't want to look at games as winning or losing them or like that be our mentality. It's we want to each game get better and present a better version of ourselves and build the brand that is Maryland Volleyball. The Terps look to get back in the win column as they host Michigan on Sunday, November 7th in another Big Ten Conference matchup. For the Left Bench TV, I'm Ricky Pudgorski.